Hey YouTube. I want to talk a little bit about uh, two weight loss realities that most people don't seem to understand uh, in the general population uh, and even within the fitness community, uh, I find. Now if you're a competitor, this is not addressed to you. You're fucking, you know what you're doing. You're good to go. Uh, and if you're not good to go, I'm sorry to hear that. But when it comes to weight loss and dieting down, a lot of people make two common mistakes. One is underestimating the time that it's going to take to lose weight. And a lot of the times this comes down to like, oh, I want to lose 30 pounds and I want to do it in a month or something crazy like that. And you got to take a step back and go like, okay, well, you know, are you a UFC fighter that's dumping weight for a fucking show or for a fight? Because they do that. Are you a competitor that's 12 weeks out? Because I've seen people do that too. No, you, do, you, do you know anything about diet training or anything like that? No, you're just going to lose 30 pounds in a month. Okay. Let's be more realistic. You often hear people talk about like one to two pounds of weight loss a week um, is, is good weight loss. And it is good weight loss. I like to say like, I like to say stay on the, the side of one pound. That's sustainable. You're not starving yourself. And over the course of a year, that could be up to 52 fucking pounds. That's a lot, right? But what people don't seem to get is you're going to slip up. You're going to have moments where you binge. You're going to have moments where you drink maybe a bit too much if you drink, right? It can be difficult. Um, if you, if you know what you're doing, it can be difficult. Uh, on uh, the 1st of January, I weighed 240 pounds. May 7th for my birthday, I got down to 212.2, I think. So that was, you know, 28 pounds, in, which is a lot of weight to lose, and, but I lost it at a rate of about a pound a week, right? Because I just kept doing that slow slog, and I went from not having abdominal muscles to having abdominal muscles, right? And it's now September... Oh fuck, what is it? September 8th, right? Oh shit, so, you know, so months later, three months later, is that three months? I'm 211.4, right? So I've kept it off. And that's just through dedication with my diet training, all that jazz, because I've done this so many times, uh, bulking and cutting, um, that I know kind of how, how to deal with it. But if you're new to diet and training, it fucking sucks, guys. It's, it's shitty. Like, you need to have an iron will when it comes to stuff. And I see people dieting all the time where, you know, they're like, oh, hey, you want a piece of cake or you want a cookie? And it's like... Well, I'm on a diet, but that looks really good. And then they, they eat the cake. That's okay. That's going to fucking happen. If you're not getting prepped for a show, then give her shit. Just get back on the bandwagon and continue to lose weight. But if you're, doing, if you're giving in on a regular basis, uh, then you're not dedicated enough. And then this doesn't apply to you at all because you're not dedicated. But understand it's going to take time, right? You're probably going to slip up. You're probably going to stumble. But as long as you stay to your, stick to your game, you'll get there right? A pound a week sounds like not much, but it is. 30 weeks from now, you can be 30 pounds lighter. That's fucking insane if you think about it. 30 pounds. That's a lot. The second mistake that people make is often underestimating how much weight that they have to lose. Uh, I hear a lot from people when they turn around, and I, I never open my mouth, trust me, when, I, when people say this, but they're like, oh, you know, I, in order to get like a bikini body I want, I want to lose about 20 pounds. And you're looking at them, and you're like, Wow, you need to jack that up about 40 or 50 pounds because you got a lot more to lose than 20 pounds. But 20 pounds would be a great starting point, right? 20 pounds would be an excellent starting point for most people, or even 10, just to get the ball rolling. But a lot of people don't realize just how much weight they have to lose. Fat takes up a lot of space, and people seem to think that they're just going to shrink down and do what Chris Pratt did and, and for the Guardians of the Galaxy. And it's like, nah, that motherfucker was getting paid millions of dollars to do that. So he had... He had intention and he had people telling him to get his fat ass in shape, otherwise he couldn't be in a movie. So a lot of people underestimate like how much weight they gotta lose. They think, you know, oh, I'll just lose 10 pounds and everything will be okay. Then they lose that 10 pounds and they're like, well shit, like I barely look any different. And it's like, well yeah, because 10 pounds isn't that much on a frame where you have 30 or 40 to lose. So always know that it's gonna take you longer than you anticipate, more often than not, unless you're crazy dedicated. Um, and if you are, that's fucking thumbs up, but most people aren't. Most people will wax and wane. Uh, and the second is you probably got more weight to lose than you realize, all right? And have those in the back of your mind when you're trying to lose weight. Now, if you are into fitness and you're not a competitor, like I'm not a competitor, but I'm into fitness, right? I compete with myself, um, you know, and that's, and that's how it, what drives me is just putting more weight on the bar until I fucking break. And that's the plan is eventually one day the bar will kill me, but it'll be, uh, a great show and I hope you guys get to see it and you can laugh at me. But the point being is, you know, if you're into fitness, a lot of fitness people, like a lot of people, like Joe Average, you know, beginner to uh, like intermediate, brand new people to the gym have less than say four or five years, they might not know how to bulk or cut right. Um, now having said that, you know, I'm 32, when I was like 16, YouTube didn't exist. 
we didn't have an easy access to get to like information on diet nutrition training right you you know you wanted to learn about that you'd go talk to the fucking gigantic bodybuilder that's at your gym and be like excuse me i i just had a, i had a, i had a question about nutrition if you got a second between sets and if you're lucky he's a nice guy and he'll talk to you if you're unlucky he tells you to fuck off and then you fuck off because he's huge you know when you're 16. um now you know these days kids and or anybody fucking anybody kids what am i talking about adults have access to a plethora of information online that's awesome for how to how to lose weight how to track your macros how to track your calories most people just don't know how to implement or don't have the will to implement it but it's out there which is great but one of the things people often forget to say is like oh yeah stick to it but you probably got more weight to lose than you realize and it's gonna take time probably more time than you think because shit's gonna happen maybe you don't gain weight maybe you binged a little bit right that doesn't mean you quit it just means you carry on understanding that shit happens um, that's it guys just those two common uh, uh, misconceptions when it comes to weight loss that as if you are if you were able to actually sit back and be realistic and be like okay I'd like to lose 20 pounds but it might be more than that like have that in the back of your mind it might be more than that because that way, if you get to that 20 pounds and you're like, no, it was more, you don't feel so discouraged because you're like, motherfucker, I lost 20 pounds. That's awesome. Now I just got to go a little bit further. And two is if you put a deadline of a month and you haven't lost the weight in a month, you're going to fucking quit because you're like, well, obviously I can't lose weight, which I hear all the time too. I tried losing weight and I only lost two pounds. Oh, this is fucking fantastic. You lost two pounds. Why are you so mad? Well, I wanted to lose 47. Wow. In a month? No, that's not realistic. This isn't the biggest loser. And even those people gain the weight back. So... Keep those two things in mind the next time you're trying to diet down, cut down, anything like that, or if you're brand new to trying to lose weight, right? Two common misconceptions. I know I ran into them when I first started trying to lose weight. I, uh, it took me a lot longer than I realized to get to where I needed to be, uh, a lot longer. However, I learned from my mistakes, so hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. That's it, guys. Questions and comments down below, and as always, eat like a bodybuilder and train like a powerlifter.